there is a lot of talk on alternatives to sugar. Yes. How safe are these and is there a natural alternative that you recommend? Yes, I have written a book called Natural Alternatives to Sugar. I spent the year, last year researching it. It was quite an exercise. For me, sugar is one of the key foods to avoid for all of us, especially for women with hormonal issues and for fertility as well. It is a refined food. It has no nutritional value. It's just empty calories. So I do have issues around added sugar within the food, and I hope you know people will start to avoid that out of their diet and then we have to think about then what do we put in instead and for me I'm always thinking about how unrefined is a natural alternative to sugar I want something that's had the least refining and then has some nutritional benefit and for me I would always go organic where possible so I would try and use things like organic barley malt syrup or organic rice syrup sometimes some organic maple syrup as well but it needs to be the real the real real deal. syrup and not the <laughs> glucose version. And yeah. also there's lots of ways of using different fruits and vegetables with their own sweetness in cakes and other foods that we eat. So we can use the sweetness that nature gives us within those foods to put into cakes and things like that. So we do have lots of choices and you know people will get used to a different taste as well because oftentimes we're used to this strong sweet taste that we get from sugar but our taste buds will change as well but it's one of those foods that over the years I've talked about and only in the last few years have people realized that it does have you know quite negative effects not only in terms of type 2 diabetes but also cardiovascular disease, heart disease and also Alzheimer's so lots of what we would class as our degenerative illnesses can be actually worsened or even triggered by this amount of sugar that's going in the diet.